Hello everybody, welcome to Coding 101. My name is Kutlo. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to protect your routes in React using React Router DOM. Protecting your routes can be an essential part of building your React project. In most cases, many developers want to restrict certain portions or certain pages or components of their project to particular users. So now it becomes necessary for them to build certain functionality that gives permeability to specific routes only when certain conditions or certain authentication conditions are met. One example that we can think of is probably Facebook. We all know that you cannot access certain parts of Facebook unless you are logged into Facebook. So that essentially means that Facebook has the type of technology that allows the users uh, only to access certain parts of their content or certain parts of their component or pages only when a user is logged in. So in today's video, we are going to be exploring that technology. We're going to be exploring and learning how to protect our routes and how to give access to our routes only when certain conditions are met. I can assure you that after this video, you will be able to implement your own functionality that allows you to give access to certain portions of your project and restrict other portions of your project. This functionality is not only important for authentication, but let's say, for example, you have an admin side of your application and a general user side of your applications, and you want to demarcate your applications. You want the admin users to be able to access the admin side or the admin components, and you want regular users to not have access to those components. So this type of technology therefore enables you to be able to differentiate who is a user and who is an admin user and who is a regular user and who to give access to and who to not give access to. Now, before we continue with this video, I do want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I want to encourage you to like the video. And if you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comment section. All right, before we begin, of course, first you would need to understand what is in front of your screen right now. We've implemented a simple page with hyperlinks with different sets of component and sets of pages. So we have, of course, the login page, we have the home page, we have the about page, we have the pricing page contacts, we have the login page, and then we have the logout button. So these uh, pages are the ones that we're going to be navigating. So what we want to do is that we want to be able to restrict the home page, the about page, the pricing and the contact page. And we want to restrict these components or these pages until the user has authenticated themselves. Now, the type of authentication that we're going to be doing in this project is a simple authentication. Uh, they'll be just clicking a button and they'll be able to log in. They will be clicking a button and they would have logged into the application. So we are going to be restricting these four uh, pages that you see in front of your screen, in front of your screen. So that essentially means that if the user is not logged in, they are unable to access these four uh, pages. If they try to access the, these four pages, they're redirected back into the login page. Okay, so let's go into our project and actually see how this, um, com uh, this project was created. As you can see, our pages are over here and we have one component, which is just the navigation component, which is made up of a few Tailwind CSS stylings. And we have our links that we have over here. I'm going to provide the source code of this project in the description box. Uh, if I don't remember, please just comment and I will do that because I have a tendency of forgetting to put the source code in the description box. So. And then uh, about components is practically it's just simplicity, uh, nothing too complicated. You can make your own pages if you want. Uh, our focus is not on there. And I would like to show you the structure of our React Router DOM. This, these are our routes that you have already seen. Now it is that you can see on your screen right now. It is very very important for us to understand the type of React Router DOM that we're working with right now because there are many different types of React Router DOM and they don't work the same. If you use React Router DOM 5 uh, on your project, you're not going to be able to um, achieve the same implementation that I have implemented on my project. So let me just show you the type of package that I'm using. You can see it, React Router DOM 6.4. Point two, and you can see the version of React that I'm using, that it's 18. So uh, you have to be really mindful of the type of React Router DOM that you're using. Make sure that you're using React Router version 6 and not version 5, especially for 
this particular project because there are some features that are particularly exclusive to React Router version 6 and they're not exclusive in React Router version 5. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go back into our login page because what we want to do is that every single time the user presses this button over here, we want to create some sort of a token or some sort of a variable that we can use to validate the user's access so that when they try to log in, or when, so that when they try to navigate to a certain page, we're able to check that token to see if that user has been authenticated. And so we're going to take that variable and we're going to store it in a local storage. So at first over here, we're going to implement an on click button. Uh, I'm just going to say function. I'm going to say handle click. So what's going to happen is that we're going to set a variable or set an item in the local storage and we're going to call this one is logged in is logged sorry and whenever the user presses log in that means is logged it's going to be true and they're going to be navigated to you can use history you can use um, navigate to for this you don't actually need to use windows.location.href but in this case i'm just going to use it because i feel like it <laughs> and then we're going to create an on click over here and curly brackets first and then we're going to do that handle click we're going to put it in here so what's going to happen is that every single time the user comes to the login page and they click this button over here that is logged in variable is going to be updated accordingly the is logged in variable is going to be updated on the local storage and uh, this is essentially our authentication token per se so and then in order to check if the user is validated we're going to retrieve this token from our local storage to check whether or not the user has been successfully authenticated. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, so what we're going to do is that we're going to group the routes or the components that we want to restrict access to, and we're going to group them under route. Uh, so V React Router version 6 allows us to do this. So that's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to group everything except for the login page. So we're just going to do this. We're going to take everything in here. And we're going to put it in there like this. Let's try to do proper indentation so that you can clearly see that this is a set. So now this becomes the parent component and these ones are the children component, All right? So now we have a set of components that can only be accessed a certain way. And we're not done yet. We have to implement that um, the protected routes. So in order to do that, I'm going to come here to components and I'm going to say protected routes like .js like this. RFC, oh, my RFC is acting up. Okay, there we go. Awesome stuff. And what we're going to do, this is where we're going to actually check or validate whether a user has been authenticated. And if they have been authenticated, then we're going to give them access to those children routes that we see. Awesome. So now what we have to do is that we have to come over here and we're going to create a variable called is authenticated in this variable we're going to initialize it or assign it with a variable from the local storage you remember that item that we saved called is logged and then we're going to come here to the return and we're going to get rid of these divs because we're going to put direct javascript over here and we're going to say if the user has indeed been authenticated then what we want you to do, uh, I mean, if the user has not been authenticated, we want you to navigate them or redirect them back to the login page. So React Router DOM has actually this, um, I don't know if I can call it a feature or component called navigate. 
so it's similar to just redirect so so I want you to navigate them so you actually need to import it at the very top so I'm gonna just say to log in else if the user has actually been authenticated we want you to give give them access to those children routes so this react router dom actually has this uh, component or this concept uh, called actually not a concept but a component that is called outlet so the outlet component is going to make sure to render whatever the user is asking for if the user has been authenticated so it's as easy as that so what we need to do now is we need to go back to app.js and come over here to our parent component and we are going to say element I'm going to say protected protected routes like this and what we expect to happen is that every time the user is not authenticated they're going to be denied access to those routes that are inside of that protected routes element all right so now we need to go back to our project and actually check if this worked as we wanted so let's try and access these you can see that we are being denied access to these uh, components or to these pages that you see over there we're being denied access but once we log in you can see that now we are able oh something is amiss so let's try and see what could be the problem so let's go back to our project and just let's see what could be the problem right away I think I see it so this is supposed to be a string so that's fine this should be okay try to access these internal routes you could see it's not giving us access to those routes but if we were to click this and say log in then it gives us access and we're able to access some of these routes and if we were to log out again it would lead us back to the login page once again try to access them you could see that now we have no access but let's log in again and you could see that it gives us or it eventually gives us access to this so I think that is about it for trying to um, protect our routes um, if you've enjoyed this tutorial please make sure that you have subscribed make sure that you've liked this video and if you have any com comments uh, or if there's anything that's confusing you please make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section I'd be happy to assist but other than that let me leave it here uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time on Coding 101.